What's going on everyone? Uh, I wanted to share with you one of my common issues with the K1C 3D printer from Creality. First of all, I love the printer. This is not a video that was dedicated to criticize it. This is just a video to help somebody who's there looking for um, a way to fix his uh, printer. Everything seems to be working uh, perfectly with no notifications or errors or whatsoever. Uh, a part of the filament is not extruding anymore, obviously. So um, I thought to uh, retract the filament, as obviously it's not extruding. Uh, I, I, I went to the options, I tried the retract functions, uh, it didn't work. So if you guys thinking what I've been thinking is, uh, you would be probably thinking about pulling the filament out and try to force it back, but that will not even work. And um, let me take you through the fix. So let's start with powering off the machine and removing the electricity cable. It is just safer. Then we pop out the upper lid of the extruder. It, is, it, it just pops out like that. And then we will cut the filament to give us a room to work around it. Let's have a look at the setup from here. If you're facing the machine in front of you, then in your left hand side, there is a single bolt that you need to disassemble using just a normal Allen key. And on the right hand side, there are two similar bolts just make sure you put the bolts back where it belongs. You do have to mix them and it's just easier. And then let's uh, pull the motor out with the extruder, panning it back smoothly and then gently pulling it upwards and then make sure it doesn't fall from your hand because the cables here are quite tight. You don't have to create any more force or, to, or, or add any tension uh, at this point. So Creality Text should be facing you in this order. And uh, there are two bolts uh, on the on each corners uh, in parallel. You need to open these two, and then there you go. Uh, make sure you put it back exactly like that. If you flip it upside down, <laughs> it just won't work. I've I've done this several times, so I know exactly what I'm talking about. And now you got to separate the upper lid. Just do this slowly. You don't want to lose the bearings or or whatever gears are there. Just make sure it looks like that. Yeah. I did this with a single hand, so I opened it and I continued to shoot the video for you guys. This is the actual problem. This is where the filament got stuck in that channel. You have to cut through and then put everything back the way it was. Just make sure, guys, you put it back in the right order, yeah? If you flip it, it won't work again. Again, this video was meant to help somebody out there. It, it is not criticizing reality in any way or whatsoever. I'll be happy to uh, share more information if I have any other uh, fixes. This is how it looks. This is the upper lid back in place. The bolts are back in place. I just used simple tools, a nose plier and an Allen key. I didn't use anything else. Make sure you tie back the bolts in a normal hand uh, tension. You don't have to over tie it. These are fragile uh, electronics. So in less than five minutes, guys, you should be done with this fix. Unfortunately, this update came through. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope somebody gets the benefit out of watching this and uh, see you guys in the next one.